welcome or welcome back to my channel you pleaded i yielded so here's the highly requested unilas dormitory tour hope you enjoy there are two hostels they have names now the one closer to school is called jipembele the other one i have no idea i really like to commend the school for introducing this biometric fingerprint thing uh for safety reasons FYI, I went through a lot to get into this hostel. I like, clearly don't stay there. As you enter the hostel, you arrive there washing lines. It's a five floor building divided into A, B, C, D, E. And, um, well, thankfully, the elevators. The self contained rooms are to your right, and the non self contained rooms are to your left. And by self contained, I mean they contain bathrooms inside the room. There's a laundry room on each floor and you actually have to pay to use the washing machine. You don't necessarily use them. You pay people to wash for you and they weigh. That's why there's that scale over there. They weigh the kgs and they charge you according to how much your clothes weigh. Hectic, I know. This is the common room. There's a common room on each floor where people hang out, watch TV, etc. Males and females are both accommodated in one hostel. To the right are the females and to the left are males. There's a kitchen on each floor and in the kitchen are microwave ovens and stoves with grills by their ovens. Yeah, whatever those are. <laughs> there are fire extinguishers in case you want to burn the building down. Let's get into the first room. So this room houses four people two on the left, two on the right. There's also a study section where all the four people can be accommodated. The people who stay in this room use the communal bathroom. So they shared bathrooms that they use. There is one on each floor. Technically there are two, one on the male and one on the female side. So these are the wardrobe spaces that they have. Uh, there's two on each side. So two on the right, on the left for the four people that occupy the room. There is a lot of space, in my opinion, to store stuff for the four people that occupy these rooms. Let's move on to the double occupant rooms. So they have two uh, study sections, one on the left and one on the right. These share the communal bathrooms as well. I'll leave the prices and everything in the description box, so make sure to read that. This is the wardrobe space they have. There are two wardrobes, one on the right and one on the left. This is the view from one of the rooms. There is also a washing line inside the hostel in the middle there, as you can see. So I think there's a lot of space to hang your clothes. Let's now move to the bathroom. So the bathrooms are at the end of the hallway. This is what the female toilet and shower looks like. It's very similar to the male side. It's just the males have urinary. So this is what the showers look like. There are six showers, three on each side. This is the self-contained single occupant room. It has a desk, a bed, and a bathroom inside. Uh, the double occupant self-contained rooms are also similar. It's the same size, but the difference is they only two beds and more closet space. So this is what they look like. I didn't take uh, videos of the double occupant room, but it's the same as this one. Same size and everything, just the two beds.
you are allowed to bring a fridge into your room as for the rules etc for the school accommodation you'd have to contact the academics and the accommodation office because i really have no idea thank you for watching this video i hope you now have an insight as what to expect when you come and stay at the school hostels